hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i've had like such a creative block i just thought let me do a vlog and um maybe that will get the creative juices going again who knows so i have redone my braids again i don't know how many times i've redone my braids this is the jobless life that i'm living i really I like now i've literally forced myself to start applying for jobs um do you know what stage i'm at cover letter i actually am wanting to write a cover letter uh i don't know if anyone else is like me but cover letters are the pits you see a job that says you need a cv and a cover letter i'm like bye goodbye goodbye we're never meant to be but now i'm like oh my goodness i want you let me write you a cover letter so that boy. so yeah that's the stage i'm at um but i thought i'd start today's vlog just because today I'm going for my vaccine so about two weeks ago the nhs sent me a text and they were like you have an underlying health condition it's your you know basically book in your vaccine get the vaccine done today so i thought let me do my braids beforehand because i want to get my hair done today or tomorrow by this hairdresser but she's moving mad she's moving like she doesn't need the money and um I don't have time to deal with people like that because also have you guys watched the first episode of my well being wednesday series have you but have you um it's been out since wednesday which is four days ago i believe i think youtube still saying three days because i dropped it at like half five so yes yeah, it's, it's friday thursday friday saturday sunday yeah four days ago nearly four days ago i think in about an hour it'll be four days ago um, I do need to hoover my room in a bit, but I think I'll do that when I get back from the vaccine. I also think that's a really bad idea. I need to shower first because I just started my hair last night. Like in like I think I was only like eleven. Um, um, this little bit on top of my head, I'm thinking of doing a cornrow here. Like, but I'm gonna get my mom to do it because if I do it, it will just be like a massive big chunk from the start, and I don't want that um so i'm gonna get to my madre to do it but she said she's busy just went down to see what she's doing she's napping so you know the love is there somewhere but i'm gonna go shower mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. um clean my room and then get ready to go i don't know what i'm gonna wear to the back so you know i think i'll just wear like a top like a top that's probably like sleeves with this length I'm also on a social media detox. Ooh, it's very nice. Like, literally, I've signed out of Insta, Snap, Twitter. If you ever want to have a therapeutic day without going to the spa, come off all your socials, just for a day. I need to start going for walks a bit more, get myself back into this fitness thing before the gyms open in two weeks tomorrow. Crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, but let me go shower because time is ticking and i'm still dirty oh okay so i am not driving myself because this happened to my car so i'm being driven to um the vaccine i've got I've got night flow going ignore the wet but patches watches um uh, and the shoes Cat Sunday at half five? No, 20 to six, sorry. 20 to six. Is that Jeff Jeffer? Yeah. Okay, if you just sanitize your hands and head on. To so at the vaccine centre, literally just got injected. Uh, my timer is on. I have two and a half minutes left. Stay here. I've got it on my left arm. I didn't think I'd like move or float or anything like that, but oh my goodness, that was horrible. Um, she just jammed it into me, to be honest. In a safe way. Obviously in a safe way. Vaccine one done! My arm feels so weird. Um, normally I'm fine after injections, it's just my arm gets really sensitive or wherever they've been injected me gets really sensitive but we'll see how it is today got a starbucks as a treat my arm was killing me in the car it's calmed down a little bit now sorry i had to close the bin look at that little 
sprinkle on the top of my head. What does everyone get from Starbucks? I love a caramel frap. Love, love, love caramel fraps. It's been half an hour since I got my injection. My arm is hurting me. Uh, that's all I can really say. Like it's it's just hurting me. And the pain has been getting worse since I got it. And what they say, you know, at least it didn't like no side effects and then within the first three minutes, so hopefully that means I'll be fine for the next year. So hey guys, it's just gone past eleven. Um this is after basically day two day one of the the vaccine i had the vaccine yesterday so this is like slept woke up that day um suffered last night so much normally i sleep on my left side but got vaccine on my left arm because i do so much with my right arm like i'm right handed so i got it on that and i was just naturally like moving over but i had like my body reminded me like the pain it's upped a lot honestly a lot like to the point where it just makes me want to cry but I was I was having points when I was shivering um felt nauseous I've got this massive headache that just won't go so I'm about to go downstairs and get some paracetamol I have both of them drug myself up hopefully that will help but honestly yeah I was reading something and it said those that younger recipients is that right basically younger people who get oh that breeze i've got my window open because i keep getting hot flashes and that was just so sexy but anyway i was reading something and it said that younger people are the ones that seem to react to it more so whereas my pet both my parents have had it and they just seem like they had a painful arm here i am literally going through it um so yeah, I don't want to spend all day in bed because I don't think that'll make me any feel any better. But I'm actually so tired because I was up so much during the night. <sighs> but I'm gonna go get Patsy and mom maybe something to eat as well. Come back into bed just for a few more hours and then get up and start the day. That's my update. I'll give you any updates when I how the paracetamol is if it won't just thought i'd come and tell you guys what i'm having for breakfast i must seem like a whole different person now but anyway i'm having vegan yogurt i'll put the picture of the yogurt here um with granola i'll put the brand of the granola here um it's quite nice it's lovely it's my breakfast with water and i had ibuprofen so we're gonna give it an hour and then i'll come back and tell you how i just walked up the stairs i'll tell you how i am feeling just thought i'd check in with you guys so i had ibuprofen about an hour and a bit ago um then with the granola it's now or maybe like an hour and a half two hours ago um then after i finished my bre breakfast i knocked out like it must have kicked it in my headache migraine is gone not completely but it's at a manageable stage where i'm like okay i want to get up i want to do stuff um my arm still hurts a bit but i was able to hoover just now and look i should have done an arm check earlier i literally was here i was doing that but now i can lift it all the way up so yay for me this is we love this for me um i still got the hot flashes going on but i'm gonna shower now and go and sit outside and hopefully i'll feel a bit better because there's a breeze outside and it's a bit sunny i'll bring you outside just so you can see how nice the weather's looking today hopefully it doesn't switch up while i'm having my shower i guess the one thing to just have ibuprofen that's all i did advise i wish i did it earlier have ibuprofen and just and try and sleep on that because i had the best sleep like that hour that i was asleep for was better than the whole night that i slept for slept for I think that's where I got all my energy from. Maybe I should start having it before I sleep more often. I mean, I woke up and I was on hoovering my room. I was productive on the day dot. <laughs> but no, I'm going to go shower and then go outside. Hey guys, so I'll just check in. It's been, I don't know if I checked in yesterday actually. 
Hmm. Anyway, today is Wednesday the 31st of March, last day of the month. Yay, it's been an awful month. I've hated March with my whole heart. Um, stopped working in March. I've had three car incidents in March. Not like all crashes, one crash. And two other issues that needed to be fixed with my car. It's just all been in March. And cars cost a lot. And for someone who's not working, I still obviously have my direct debits, which I need to pay. And I always like to have some money in my account whenever I work just in case because obviously it's like I was working with the agency so that kind of always needs to be covered um I just didn't think I'd need to cover like car I, I was looking really fat from that angle maybe it's just me it could just be me it's okay it's all right um so yeah I'm by the auto center do they call them auto centers they are they um came to see how much it would be to fix my car opened the bonnet and discovered that both my lights need fixing the radiator needs fixing like the connection or whatever and then there's some other long thing that needs fixing and yeah such is life maybe this is how i was meant to get a new car i wanted to get one in september but maybe now's the time updates on the vaccine because i feel like i haven't dropped in with you guys since um vaccine how is it going my arm obviously as you can see is better like it's that hurts but it's like i can handle it so it's that's fine um what else that's that's it oh i can like i can kind of sleep on it i don't have any more symptoms from it i thought the other night like i woke up during the night and i thought um my braids were giving me the headache because i did my braids the same day i got the vaccine and a headache kicked in um so i thought maybe the braids is what's giving me this headache took the braids out the headache was still there for quite a while um so i don't actually know what it was that caused it i'm gonna give it to the vaccine because the vaccine did a lot to me and I've done braids a lot of times and I've never had headaches after doing my own braids because I'm quite gentle to myself you know? and plus like if I think of all those times I used to go to the hairdressers and get them to do my hair and the headaches I'd get from those like this headache was so bad like I was one hour off it being a migraine I'm telling you now I'm telling you now because it took a break it took a break which is very cheeky because I still can't claim it as a migraine but boy it felt like it <laughs> um but no that's how that's going so roll on june i'm getting it on but i think it's the 18th of june so that gives me three days to warm it up and get ready for a hot girl summer um but yeah that is me right now primark's open on monday guys primark my socks are up currently okay because i'm mostly in fluffy socks but oh my goodness i need new fluffy socks i've overwashed these ones because i'm in them all the time like the ones i've got and then i just need new black ankle socks i definitely need new white ankle socks because i've purchased quite a few white pairs of shoes during lockdown don't know why i did that oh no this is not a look this is what needs to go but you know what it's part of life i have so many scars on my face as well i don't know what that's about I don't know so it is now saturday evening i'm so i'm about to start editing this video so i just thought i'd kind of come on here do a like an outro or whatever um before i probably get into an outro first things first we are two days not even two days one sleep is it one sleep now no two sleeps oh doesn't sound so exciting anymore but literally two sleeps away from primark being open gyms being open beer gardens i don't know how to feel like obviously like, like it's exciting because then it's something else to do but like at the same time i'm like mm, i don't know if i'm like gonna go to the pub for the first like two weeks because everybody's going to be going so i'm not really sure but like other restaurants i'm quite excited for them to open definitely will be going maybe i'll wait for may as well i don't know if i'm gonna really do anything this month um apart from gym and primark um i've been so quiet over the last like month basically i actually don't think i've uploaded a video 
in a month apart from the Wellbeing Wednesday video, which if you guys are actually looking forward to the next video, I just needed to, I'm scared of asking people to be on the panel. This is my issue. Um, so no, I'd love to continue it on. And obviously like I do have two topics lined up already. So I don't like, I'm just scared. I'm shy, but I'd love to do it. Anyway, so the last one came out on the 24th of March and I haven't uploaded like a normal video on my channel since then and I think before that one must have been like a good week or two, maybe three before that. don't even know where it was. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video, whatever it is. Take care. Bye.